how self manager works. This is the login page. You see the description and you see the login options. You can log in with any of these four providers. Now an important mention, if you're viewing the page from a social media view, for example, you click the link on a social media post and you landed on this page, you will need to open the URL in a regular browser. And you can click on this info message to get on this page and click to copy the URL and paste it then in the browser. Then you will see and how it works video. This will be the recording of this video. The past video was in 2023 and it's outdated. Then on the right, you will see the latest updates where features are covered in detail. Then we have the features, how it can help me and frequently asked questions. You have also the login options at this point. And at the bottom there, presentations how Self Manager can be an alternative to Trello, Apple Notes, Notion, Monday.com, Asana, and Todoist. Now let's go to the login. Let's log in with the Google account. And once you log in, you will see this view. Now let me explain with the core parts of the app. On the left, we have the sidebar with a date switcher and the tables that are available for this date. On the top part, we have the self message where you can add a message for the current date that you're viewing. And then we have the active table content. You can switch from the sidebar, the active table. And at the bottom, you have options for the table. We'll go in detail in a moment about all the options. And then you have images for the table. Here you can upload images for your table and they are different for each table. Then we have the notes and here you can store your notes. Let's start with the basics now and what it is in the demo data that you will be seeing after you create an account. The core of the app are dates and tables. You can move between dates by pressing the arrow icons near the date switcher or click on the date picker and select a date. You can select the date by clicking here and choosing a date or by clicking on the date picker or by clicking the next or previous date icons. You can move from this part of the app or go to the left side on the sidebar. You will see a notification that you have changed the date and you can go to the previous dates as well. And each date has its own tables. And this is where the active table name appears. When I click on demo one future, the table updates, and this is the updated content. Then we have the percentage of completed tasks on the active table. We have one completed out of 10, and this is 10%. Then we have other stats about all the tables from this date. So we have two tables, demo one future, demo two future, and their total tasks are 20 and two have been completed. 10%. And if I complete a task or more, you will see the stats are being updated. 4 out of 20, 20% 20 on all tables, and 30% on this active table. Only one date can be active at a time. A date can contain unlimited amount of tables. Only one table can be active at a time. To switch between tables on desktop, click one of the available tables from the left sidebar. On mobile, touch the tables button below add table. You already saw that so this is how i switch between tables and let's see the mobile view this is the mobile view here we have the date picker placed here and the next and previous days next to it and to view all the tables you click this button tables you see the, all the info about the tables available tables too, and the completion percentage. When you click, you will see all the available tables for this date. You will see the date and the tables. And to view it, click on it, and it will change to that table. And you will see the active table here, demo two present, and the stat of completion about this table. Let's go back to the desktop view. Each date can have a self message. It appears at the top part of the page. By default, you will have it set on this date and you can remove it at any time and add your own. On the right, you will see actions that you made on the tables or if you switch a date. So let's add a self message here. You can add your motivational things or whatever you think is useful for this day. 
self message added and now this is your self message for this date but if you move to the other dates you will see the self message for that date to add a table click on the add table button a box will appear where you can add a name optional description and task names you can also add up to 20 images per table and add notes after you create a table you can edit the content afterwards this is the button add table or you see it on the left sidebar and when you click it here are the options for the table and on the right you have the priority the priority is from 0 to 5 0 means very important and 5 means less important if you want you can add images at this stage or you can add afterwards or you can also add notes And if you're ready to add it, click add. Table was added and you will navigate immediately to that table after you add it. And this is how you can add a table. Let's go back to the presentation. At the bottom of each table, there are tools for managing the table. You can move the mouse over the icons and the description of their functionality will appear. So these are the options. Add row, pin this table, and it will appear here in the pinned results. At the moment there are no pinned tables then you have share access to this table you can share access with other people copy text from this table duplicate table transfer table to certain date edit table and remove current table let's see a demo of the pin table pinned and now when i click on pinned i see this table being pinned and it will appear on all dates so if I switch to other dates, I can still see the table. And when I click on it, I am asked to confirm if I want to navigate to that date. So you click on it and you go to that date and it will be active. Next, let's see task settings. This is a regular task. Task can be edited by pressing the gear icon at the right side of a task. On mobile, it appears at the bottom of a task. On the right side, you see this gear icon and it is for row settings when you click it a box will appear and you will see at the top the content the status and the priority you can modify the content of it you can click on this icon and it expands for larger tasks you can modify the status no value means not touched one is near completion and five is failed and once you change them you will see a preview at the top let's go with nearly completed and you can also modify the priority and you also see a preview at the top you can also delete the row by clicking on this icon and you blast to confirm then after you made the changes you can click on the save button that's edit saved and you see the last modification here last time edited another option is to blur the row so if you're presenting something and you don't want to show it you just click it and it will blur the row next you can move the position of tasks on desktop hover over a task and click the top or bottom arrows that appear on the right side on mobile they appear at the bottom of a task you can also move the order of tables so you see the mouse is over this task and i see these arrows when i click the top it will move it to the top and clicking the bottom arrow moves it back to the bottom we saw tasks have a priority from 0 to 5 and status 0 to 5 as well this is a complete task with priority 0 the priorities appear on the right and now let's see the position of the tables in the left sidebar you see these arrows move table down it moves it down and clicking the up arrow it moves it back up and when you move to a certain date the first table will be active by default now marking text this is a marked text this text can be selected and marked too on mobiles the marker appears at the bottom and on desktop it appears at the top of a task after the row has been selected so i just select the text and an option to mark it will appear by default yellow background and dark color and when i want to mark it i click mark you can play with all the colors that you want and if you un want to unmark it you select it again and you will see this unmark or unmark the entire row i'll just unmark this and now the text is the normal 
To watch the intro video, go to the page selfmanager.net how it works. This will be the intro video that will appear on this page. And it is similar to the login page. You see how it works video and the latest updates. For anything, you can contact us on this email, self.manager.2022 at gmail.com. In the updates video, all the functionalities of these buttons are being covered. Now let me show you some personalization options. You can personalize the background of the left sidebar and you can add a profile image. When you hover over the circle, you see the profile settings. And here you have options to upload the profile image, background image, details about your account and the sign out option. Let's add a profile image and a background image. Uploading profile image. Now we have a profile image and now let's upload a sidebar image. Uploading sidebar image, sidebar image uploaded. And if you want another person to give you access, you know the email that you signed up with. And if you have signed in with Apple, you have the option to hide your email and to receive access, you will see a generated email by Apple and you will need to give that email to the person that wants to give you access to the table. Now we have a background image and a profile image. Let's go to images. The show all images is not active because we haven't uploaded any images. And once we upload it, we have a page where we can view all our images. Images are associated to a particular table. So if I upload the images, they will be for demo one present table. Uploading two images. And now I see the images that I've uploaded. To view all the images, click on show images and it will take you to a new page. All your images by date. And here I see the date at which I have these images. If I have many images, I can click on load more images and it will load additional images. And if we click on the date, it will take us to the date at which the images were added. And every time you navigate, as I mentioned, to a date, the first table will be the active one. Now let's go to notes. We click this button and we see where our notes are. This is where are your notes. Here you can add your notes. And there's no limit about the amount of text that you can have in notes. After you add your notes, you click save. And on the right, you will see the last time this was saved. On the top part of the notes, you see these two buttons. They help you navigate between versions of a note. If I save another version, I will see the left arrow being enabled and I can go to the previous version. I am asked to confirm. Now I see the previous version and now I can move forward to the latest version that was previously added. So we are back to the newest version. Now, if you want to see all the dates that you have data, you click on dates with data. Here you will see all the dates that have data in them. And you can navigate to that date by clicking on it, confirm, and you will be taken to that date. Then at the top, we have granted access and received access. This is for the tables that you give access to other people. And received access is to see all the tables you received access to. And then we have subscription. This is where details about your subscription are appearing. So I can see I'm on free trial. This trial ends in three days after the sign in. And the price after, if you want to pay it, is $20 per month. And the trick to navigate to the current date is by clicking the logo and you will be taken to the date of the current day. Let's see the mobile view. The sidebar image on mobile appears at the top and it is in the background of self message, search and dates. You have the add table, tables, pin tables and the name of the active tables. And this is how tasks are being displayed on mobile. You see the core functionality and the table options at the bottom. And last we have search. So you can search based on table names, tasks, names and notes. You enter the search term and press enter or click the go button. Searching. Found six tables. And here are all tables that have been found and to navigate to that table, click on the date, confirm, and you will be taken to that table. And this is an introduction of the app. For any questions, please leave a comment or email us directly on this email.
and you can check our social media pages where we post updates. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.